I'm Archibald Chesterfield III and welcome to the program Fuckers. Hello Fuckers. And today's a paid paid review for Steve Glasser. Hi Archie, I've just sent you 10 US dollars. Glad to contribute. Now normally for 20 US dollars I do the video, but for Steve <coughs> I just I decided to make the video, okay? So that's that's why it's up to my discretion whether I do or whether I don't. I've followed you for some time now. I'm building my collection and want to keep it focused and small. The main goal is to have really great pieces that I won't be afraid to wear and stay away from Rolex and Omega simply because they are everywhere. Also, I like rubber or metal straps, no leather. Daily Watch, IWC, Ingenua Automatic. I know, I know the Salita movement, but it's very nicely finished and runs perfectly. Second daily watch, Vasher and Constantine, overseas, stainless, black, rubber strap, special occasion watch, he wants to acquire this later this year, a Patek Philippe Aquanaut automatic, a really special occasion watch, a Royal Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Offshore, we'll get it next year, and he says to me, he says to me, fuckers, he says to me, after I'm... After that, I'm done. That's right, fuckers, he's done. That's what he's saying. This is stuff I hope to pass on one day to my son. Do you have any suggestions? Now, I reckon it's a mistake not to have Rolex and Omega there. You got the IWC Ingenua Automatic. Okay, that's that's cool. That's okay. You got the, the Vacheron. That's good. The Aquanaut, I, I don't know whether they're... <clears throat> I don't think they're great value. I think instead of an Aquanaut, why don't you get an Explorer 2 or a Submariner? Add a Rolex. You've got to add Rolex there. The Aquanaut, I don't think they're great value. If you're going to buy a Patek, get a gold dress watch. That's the genre for them. I, I don't, I'm not a huge fan. I think they're overpriced. Sorry, that's just my opinion. Automars Piguet, I'd be fucking staying away from them in droves. They can be absolute fucking cunts to service. The service costs on an AP is horrendous. Horrendous. Eye-watering service costs. I, I personally would be staying right away from AP. AP can fucking give you a second and third asshole in one sitting. Um... So I'd say the IWC, that's a nice piece. Keep that. The Vacheron, that's a great piece. You want something unusual, I'd be adding... I reckon you might want to add a Breguet Type 20, Transatlantic or Erinvale. I'd still add a Submariner and a... Uh, I reckon the three watches you should always add for the price of that Patek, I would get myself a... Submar Rolex Submariner! Submariner! Submariner, I'd get myself an Explorer 2 or a GMT, and I'd get an Amigas, Amigas Speedmaster, Man on the Moon, Man on the Moon. So that's what I'd be doing. I, you know, if you want something classy as a dress watch, maybe a Reverso, cool Reverso. Now I know I'm not, I'm breaking your mold there, you don't like leather. Well, Fucking get with the program. Your leather is cool. Rubber. Ru I'm not so keen on rubber. I'm not so keen on rubbers. I'm not so keen on rubber. But, um, yeah, that, that's what I think. I, I, I think uh, I, 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 the APs are uh, after my fucking, fucking, fucking service costs of an AP. I'd never recommend that to fucking anyone. They're just absolute cunts. Uh, as far as the, uh, the, um, the Aquanaut, I don't think they're really good value. It's a lot of money for not a lot of watch, but, uh, that's just my opinion. I'm Archie Luxury. Tell me what you nasty, vicious fuckers think of that. No worries, Archie. Great advice. What do you recommend? Well, I'd recommend a sub no date, a sea dweller, and a, an Explorer 2 with a uh, Omega Speedmaster Moon on the Moon! Man.
Get on the moon thrown in, fuckers!